a lot of excitement now regarding the rapid speed vaccines for COVID-19, some of which have already started distribution in different parts of the world. A relatively new technology that has not been widely used before. Dear viewers, today, inshallah, we will look into how these mRNA vaccines work. When mRNA is being injected into you from the vaccine, that also carries genetic instruction. But in this case, it is only coding for one small part of a virus instead of the whole thing. You have probably seen that COVID-19 represents like this with the spikes on it. The mRNA makes its way into the cytoplasm of your cells where the ribosome reads the information and start to create the spike protein. Once the protein is made, it goes into the cell membrane and cell breaks down to destroy the injected mRNA. I want to explain how they work and what happens to your body the moment that needle touches your body. Like the vaccines we are used to see before, these mRNA vaccines will also be injected into the upper muscle of your arm. But unlike typical vaccines which introduced inactive or weakened forms of the virus, these new mRNA vaccines will release genetic material called messenger RNA in a regular cell of your body. You have DNA inside of the nucleus, and this DNA includes all the information and instructions important to the functioning of your body. Inside your cell, there is machinery that reach through your DNA and transcribe it into mRNA, which then leaves the nucleus and goes into your cytoplasm. And then, ribosomes in your cells read the RNA and depending on the specific code, build the series of amino acids which make protein to keep you alive and functioning. This process is known as translation. In fact, viruses take advantage of this process in the first place. They insert their own genetic information into you, and then your cell machinery starts taking that information and building protein to help create more viruses. So, when mRNA is being injected into you from the vaccine, that also carries genetic instruction. But in this case, it is only coding for one small part of a virus instead of the whole thing. You have probably seen that COVID-19 represents like this with the spikes on it. The mRNA makes its way into the cytoplasm of your cells where the ribosome reads the information and start to create the spike protein. Once the protein is made, it goes into the cell membrane and cell breaks down to destroy the injected mRNA and instructions. So what good does a tiny fragment of virus spike in your body do? It gives your body and you, immune system, a preview of what the virus looks like with causing disease. Certainly, your antibody will notice it and will understand, well, it does not belong here which triggers an immune response and recognize and prepare your body for the real thing without ever having to come in contact with the actual virus itself. Your immune system essentially gets a head start by creating a powerful antibody that can neutralize and kill the real virus. In this antibody, memory is stored in your B cells so that if you ever get infected in future with COVID-19 virus, your body now has the upper hand. This is known as adaptive immune response. Your body has already seen these spiky proteins before, and therefore it knows what to do. Essentially, this mRNA vaccine allow your body to protect itself from future infection without ever having to risk the consequences of getting the disease. The vaccines that are being released now have the mRNA encapsulated and lipid nanoparticles which essentially protects the mRNA from being degraded. That is why Pfizer vaccine has to be kept minus at minus 70 degrees Celsius while in a normal refrigerated temperature of minus 4 degrees Celsius, it can only last 5 days. Of course, a global pandemic has certainly increased the funding and resources going towards this type of vaccine, which is helpful to accelerate their development. What makes this vaccine so appealing is that unlike other vaccines, they can be made in lab with readily available materials and can be made a lot quicker than other vaccines. 
Instead of fully developing non-infection viruses and then injecting them into your body, this mRNA vaccine can bypass many hurdles in a genius, ingenious way. It's also far more cost-effective to create mRNA molecules rather than the proteins and cells. So, is it safe? Given that this is a relatively new technology, should you be concerned at all? Well, this is why this initial, these initial stages have been for not only to test that whether they work or not and cause immunity, but to make sure that they have minimum side effects. As of now, about 70,000 people have been given this vaccine with no serious concerns. So my dear viewers, I think that this mRNA vaccine will help us a lot by the grace of Almighty Allah. Thank you and assalamu alaikum.